Hey everyone, so this is the video I think everybody has been waiting for. This is the full installation of the Ocean Vault project. So we've gone through parts and pieces the day we procured it, installing the motors, but this is going to be a full overview of the entire project. Before we get started, I wanted to mention a couple of things. First, Ocean Vault does not recommend or support a DIY installation. They were helpful when we contacted them to purchase extra parts, but they were not helpful during the commissioning process. Because Ocean Volt will not sell you their motors without them commissioning it for you, it's kind of hard to get used Ocean Volt motors. So the idea that you guys are going to run into some of the same problems we ran into is unlikely, but not impossible. That being said, let's review the process. Step one, procure the motors. After we canceled our contract with Ocean Volt, we really lucked into purchasing them used. So we drove down to West Palm to get our new system. For $17,000, we got two SD15 motors, the controllers, the throttles, and the screens. Step two, installation. We installed the motor controllers in the motors way before we installed the throttles and the screens. There's two reasons for that. One being we wanted to close up the huge holes that were sitting in our boat. And two, we were still doing the rewire. So we couldn't run the throttles or check the screens because we had no power running to the boat. So we went ahead, did the motors, motor controllers, and then way down the line, we did the throttles and the screens. Once the rewire project was complete, we went on to step three. That was installing the throttles, the screens, and then checking to see if the system had power. The first step was the video that you guys just saw called the rewire. We wanted to make sure the boat itself was receiving power since we had gutted all the electronics, the gutted all the wiring and rewired everything. First, we made sure that the boat was receiving power and then we tested the ocean bolt system. We, again, we installed the screens and made sure that everything was receiving power correctly. Everything went good, but not without Nate blowing at least one wire. Luckily, he found what he did wrong and corrected it quickly and there was no harm, no foul, just a little bit of smoke and maybe a little anxiety for five minutes. <laughs> so now we have system is purchased, check. System is installed, check. System has power, Check, step four, commission the system. The motors came with specific software to connect the motor, motor controller and throttle. This system came on a CD. And who has a CD player anymore? So Nate went to a local electronics company, had him download the software into a jump drive. We plugged that jump drive into my Mac. That was a no-go. We borrowed a laptop some, from some friend of ours, a PC, plugged it in, and that was a go. So we connected the laptop to the th motor controllers through a cord that was also provided to us. And through that system, we were able to run tests to connect and unify the motor, the motor controller and the throttles and the screens. And that's what this video is mostly showing is the testing process, what the system was doing during that time and kind of our talking to our friend who was helping us. Again, Ocean Bolt was not helpful during the commissioning, so the person we purchased the motors from still remembered, thankfully, all these years later, how to run the system, and he talked us through it, and that was eventually what got our motors going. Since this day, we have left the dock and been running a lot of tests on the motors. We're currently sitting in West Palm on a cold and rainy day, uh, but I would like to report before we send you all the data, which we will, one thing I can say right now is we're getting a lot more runtime than we were expecting. We thought that maybe running at five or six knots, we might get four or five hours of runtime. That is proving to be incorrect. We are getting, we are getting six, seven, eight hours of runtime running at about four or five knots. And it depends on the wind, it depends on the current, and there's lots of variables. But on a moderate day uh, with no current, we are getting a great amount of runtime. We are loving the system so far. We are a week and a half out. Uh, the motors are performing fantastically. It's great to have these motors on in an instant. Um, there's a number of things that we, we love about this system, but we'll go on and on in future videos once we give you the data. This video coming up is the day that we com the commissioned and ran the test. It was an exciting day. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please message us, email us, or leave us comments with any questions. 
And as soon as we have substantial data well organized for you, we'll make sure to be in touch again. Hope you guys have a great day. Right, those are all there. So go to motor control algorithms and characterization. Okay, since when you did the numbers, did you do a reset? Yes. And it, is it blinking? Oh, let me go oh, check. Hold on. No, it's solid. Regen on. I just hold the button down on each side until it regens. Yes. Okay. 